welcome back to the Flutter GetX Masterclass. In this episode, we are taking a significant step towards effective state management with GetX. Say bye to screen rebuilds as we dive into an example using the GetX state management approach. Today, we are transitioning into the world of GetX state management. We will start with a counter example that demonstrate how to manage and update the application's state efficiently. To get started, we have already created a basic Flutter project with a counter example. In this initial code example, you can see a simple counter application. The issue here is that the entire screen is being rebuilt every time we click the head button. See, when I am clicking the head button, every time the whole entire screen is being rebuilt. This is far from idle and it consumes unnecessary resources. The issue lies in the standard Flutter state management, which leads to excessive widget rebuilding. But worry not, because we have the solution, which is GetX state management. Let's take a look at how we can transform this example. So to start with the GetX state management, we will be just creating a counter controller. To increase the counter when up when this button is clicked and to resolve the rebuilding issue so let's just create a directory from here which will be our controller and inside this controller directory I'll be just creating a counter controller dot dot file and I'll be just creating a class which will be counter controller and this class will be extended uh, with the getx controller to use the functionalities and the methods of that getx package so we will just extend it with the get getx controller which is getx controller and that's it now we have just already uh, automatically imported the get package so yeah there are basically two ways of doing how uh, resolving this issue of rebuilding so I'll be just executing the both examples uh, one the basic one which is by using the uh, getx getx reactive react to variables data types so and the other one is by just using the update keyword and wrapping whole our widget into a get builder but I'll be just going to execute it with the uh, in very first example where we will be just using the getx reactive data types so yeah we will be just uh, creating a variable of counter with the help of getx reactive data types which is uh, rx hint and you can use any kind of data types like rx boolean rx string and many more so here i'll be just creating a counter variable so we need to initialize it with uh, getx observable values so how can we do that just write the value and put a dot and add the obs and that's it you are good to go so i'll be just creating a function to increment this counter so i'll be just creating a function which will be our counter increment increment and that's it now i'll be just uh, incrementing this counter variable and I'll be also using a print statement to print the value in my debug console so I'll be using debug print here and I'll be just adding this counter 
which will be two string and that's it that's it you are good to go now when we will press this button so i'll be just initializing my this counter uh controller class into my home screen we need to uh, initialize this counter class and we we will be able to use this all the functions in our own page so for that we need to initialize our counter class first so i'll be just using the counter class here and i'll just add a counter class a counter controller instance and which is equal to get dot port so we need to use this port and now this controller or our class and that's it you're good to go so i'll be making this final to just remove my this warning and that's it now now we need to wrap our this widget text widget into uh, our observable uh, widget which is basically when this observable value changes when this react variable counter and this observable value changes this of obx widget will just identify the value has been changed and it will just refresh our screen so it works like that so now let's just wrap our this text widget into our observe obx widget i'll be just cutting this from here and which will be obx and that's it now when i refresh this and now i need to call my this uh counter this counter class basically uh, this counter variable into my home screen so let's just do that by using this instance we have just created now so i'll be using this and that's it so now we don't need this a standard uh, set state which is basically a default flutter state management to refresh the screen so this is this was causing the issue of rebuilding every time when i was clicking the head button so now let's just remove this hole and just call our that increment function which we have just created in our counter controller class which was counter increment and that's it when i refresh this our this issue issue will be resolved so let me just out restart this so i'm just killing my this application from here and i will just rerun it so yeah now we need to just call our that counter variable basically this reactive integer into our home screen so i'll be just adding that which was counter and now i'll be just converting it to two string and i'll be just saving this again and our problem will be resolved so now when i click this button so our widget is being refreshed but the whole entire screen is not being rebuilt so only this particular widget is being rebuilt with this obx basically what this obx does this obx just check this observable value when this observable value changes so this obx widget just refresh or rebuild this specific widget for us so which uh, will just solve all the unnecessary rebuilds and make our application efficient so this is this was a one way of doing with the react data reactive data types of ktx so we can also do that with the uh, simple data types of flutter by using the hint 
and we need to just add the keyword for a function which is update so we will also be doing that so let's just do in the second way how how that will work so i'll be just commenting this from here and now i'll be just creating her int counter is equal to zero and that's it from here we need to just update our screen so we will be just calling the update function here and now uh, it will just give us give give an error to us so for that we need to remove this object from here so i'll be just removing it and i'll be just saving this from here so for for this method to use this update and the standard hint data type we need to just wrap our the center widget with the get builder so i'll be just cutting this all center widget from here so i'll be just calling my get builder and get builder requires get builder and get builder requires a builder so let's just provide that builder so now i'll be just returning my that center widget which we have just copied so here you go so now i'll not be using this instance which we have just created from here so now we will be just using this controller which is basically provided by our get builder and now we will we need to just provide that class from which class this counter is basically coming from so i'll be just providing that so that was counter controller and now i will be just refreshing it so i'll be just going back here which is in counter that's it counter controller and now i will be just out restarting this again and to see that our error is resolved or not the screen was rebuilt and that's it now when i click this button you will see that the method was different but the action or the result is same however this only particular uh, widget is being rebuilt when i am clicking this head button so yeah let's just check it whether it is only rebuilding or not we will be just adding a print statement here which is debug print this particular widget is being rebuilt so when i click this now you will see a different result in the debug console so every time when i'm clicking this only this widget is being rebuilt again and again so yeah now a quick question for you what do you think of getx state management approach so we have just resolved our this issue rebuilding issue with the, with two approaches of getx one was with this reactive data types and observable uh, values and the other one was with this update function and the get builder so let me know which approach you liked the most and which approach you find much more easier so share your thoughts in the comments below that's it for this episode we have successfully transformed our counter example with ketex state management eliminating excessive screen rebuilds in the next episode, we will delve deeper into GetX state management and explore even more exciting features. So stay tuned and keep coding with Flutter.